Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Mid-South Wrestling Review Series for the final day of 1983, the final episode of 1983, New Year's Eve 1984, 1231-83, and uh, we have a mixed bag of stuff here, some stuff I like, some stuff I don't, uh, Mr. Wrestling 2 Training uh, Magnum TA is here, and we kind of see him him being TA hit, hit a few moves, and uh, the belly to belly suplex. We also see uh, the highlights of him doing leg squats and and other such. And then Mr. Wrestling Two finally admits he is in fact training Magnum for the knee lift and uh, uh, the knee lift being done to the heavy bag is a thing here. Um, he is not happy with the way in which uh, Magnum is doing it, and so uh, we see Mr. Wrestling Two hit one on the heavy bag as well. And uh, that training will continue. Wrestling 2 and Magnum TA versus Reed and Nightheart for the Tag Team Championships here. Um, inside a steel cage, clipped in nature. Um, Reed and 2 are squared off pretty assertively, aggressively. And uh, there's, a, there's a brawl. Wrestling 2 manages to uh, continue forward. I guess there's the rule that if uh, Wrestling 2... Loses the bout, he loses the mask, or something like that. That is highlighted throughout the commentary here, and uh, uh, so there's extra pressure on there. Meanwhile, Nightheart pairs off with Magnum, and it does not end well there. Um, then we kind of see uh, Nightheart going with some back elbows, some knee, knee lifts, knee drops, and the like. Very basic stuff, but stuff that's getting under the skin of Magnum, to say the very least. And uh, is uh, kind of impressive for different reasons. Anyway, double team on Magnum. Magnum sent into the cage. At this moment, Magnum not bleeding, but he eventually will bleed. Uh, at least I think he does. Anyway, I don't like this particular cage. The cage is a bunch of black bars, and it's hard to see from the camera angle at ringside. We, I think we get spoiled with having camera people in the cage these days. Anyway, hot tag off to Mr. Wrestling 2. He goes nuts going after... Nightheart and Reed both, and um, hits uh, uh, some short knee lifts, not the complete thing. Reed goes flying on a backdrop, and that is uh, pretty assertive, aggressive there. We see um, a hip toss out of the corner on Reed. Um, at a point, Nightheart is out of the cage. I don't know if this is elimination style, doesn't appear to be, but anyway, cage is... Uh, a little distracting in, in watching the action, the way the camera is set up. I mentioned that a minute ago. Uh, double tackle there, and uh, things are going in a kind of long direction. Uh, Wrestling 2 takes a good bit of heat for a while, and that doesn't go very well. Um, and then we kind of see that the baby faces do finally take over. Uh, there is a Samoan drop in the middle, and that doesn't go exactly the way it's planned either, but baby faces do take over, and kind of a slowdown on Wrestling 2. Magnum stays on the outside for a good bit of time. He does come in and clear house a bit, though, and hits the belly-to-belly -belly on Jim Nightheart, and, uh, uh, gets the win. We've got new tag team champions, Mr. Wrestling 2 and Magnum TA. And then we see them celebrate victory in the back room. Uh, Butch Reed and Jim Neidhart are complaining afterwards. Um, Magnum and uh, Wrestling 2 basically is Wrestling 2 saying how happy he is to have Magnum as a partner and how far he's coming. Uh, the fight between Neidhart and Butch Reed basically breaks down to Reed saying that Neidhart is a bit of a punk, and he punked out, and he didn't carry his weight, etc., and so forth. Nightheart eventually jumps Reed. Meanwhile, we go back to an arena show, and there is a match joint in progress between uh, Crusher, Crew, Crusher Darso and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Duggan flips him over with the, uh, with the hip toss and then goes for the running... Uh, tackle, but Darso gets out of the way. They clipped the match pretty well, and it's hard to tell. You know, I mean, they, they 
cut camera angles and such, so it's hard to tell how long the match actually goes. Duggan takes over, though, with more uh, action, including a backdrop. And I, I will say Duggan's really good at stomping around and looking like he's a major danger here. Uh, anyway, Duggan stays on the arm for several minutes and eventually uses the ropes, among other things. Um, kicks by Darsaw and ultimately he tries to do everything he can, including choking Duggan out. They go back and there is a bear hug on Duggan and ultimately uh, that lags for a while. These two guys are not, uh, not guys that would make me buy tickets, to say the very least. Anyway, not against each other anyway. Duggan manages to uh, get frustrated with the referee, casts him out so we don't really get a finish. Um, I believe it's the missing link that sneaks down to the ring. Or somebody sneaks down to try and get at Duggan. Hard to see from that vantage point. And uh, Darcy and Enemy beat on Duggan, kind of get the double team thing going, and and um, ultimately, referee comes back around. Duggan is, in fact, uh, defeated by Darso at the very end of that. Highlights of the Midnight Express here over the next, the last, uh, the, the last several weeks. Cornette does their intro and basically uh, is insulting everybody and the highlights of the Midnight Express are what you'd expect them to be. Uh, another highlight video this time of uh, Terry Taylor, music video, I believe different than the one they showed the previous week, but he's coming to Mid-South, so they tell us. And the final deal is highlights of a three-on-two handicap match. They have... Uh, I believe shown from somewhere in Texas, I think, uh, as uh, Skandor Akbar makes his way down, and uh, ultimately that's not uh, going that well. Steve Williams, actually Houston probably, Williams and Duggan and uh, others working together here against Akbar's bunch, including, including Kamala. Um, Seeing Doc and Akbar go at it's kind of interesting. Doc manages to work together to get Duggan. Duggan uh, uh, tags him in in a big body slam on the missing link. Duggan nails a knee drop and uh, off the ropes with a second one. Duggan really good with the knee drops. And getting where he wants to be that way. And ultimately Kamala... Uh, stumbling around, of course, uh, the referee does count the fall for the heels, and that will close the remainder of the year uh, for the Mid-South. We've got December of 81 all the way through 83 now. We'll be starting 1984, which is, some people say, the best year of Mid-South. I'm looking forward because I've never seen the whole thing before. Join us, will you? Over 900 audios. Something you're going to like, no doubt. Anyway, keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.